Hi there, it's Rick from the CAD Jewelry School and today I just wanted to uh, explain to you a workaround for using the Channel Studio in Rhino God 4. Now this uh, for the moment only affects users on the most current service release. Now just to check that you can come over to the file menu and go over to about Rhino Gold and just check your service release. Now if you're on this service release 4.0.3.2 uh, there have been some changes to the way the Channel Studio works and uh, I just want to show you how to how to get around some of those issues. So let's maximize our perspective viewport here. Double click on the viewport title and we'll select a ring gauge. Mine set to UK size Q. Don't worry too much about the size. Click the check mark. Now let's move over to change our display setting to shaded. Now the particular problem is that when we run the Channel Studio now and we select a curve, the channel is coming in on its side. So I'll just exit that. Now the way to resolve that for the moment is just simply to extrude this curve and it involves an extra step or two but it will solve the problem for you. So if you're having this problem with either a full circle or you're doing any exercises that involve a half channel or something like that this will resolve the issue for you so we'll come over to the modeling tab and the extrude function and don't worry too far about uh, how far you extrude this I'm just going to extrude it about two millimeters and now come back over to the jewelry tab and the channel studio again and you'll see that by default it's still coming in on its side there but what I can do is select the surface that I've created and by coming over here and selecting the surface here in the channel tool it will reorientate the channel for us you can see it's now flipped it over for me. Now you'll need to obviously go and adjust some of the parameters here for your channel but you'll find that now the channel is in the right way so when you close the tool the channels now set and once you've made the changes uh, that you need to make you can just simply go and select that surface and delete it as uh, you don't need to use it anymore. Now one important thing is that now that we've flipped the channel if I do go in and edit this channel uh, later on it will maintain that orientation that we've reset it to. So just in my case I've changed the default gemstones to baguettes uh, don't ask me why <laughs> but uh, I'll change them back to, to brilliant in a second so to edit the channel we select the channel click our middle scroll wheel and go edit and let me just change these to uh, around brilliant it's the third one along here so now I'll just come across to the gem and cut tab and I'll switch to my front view here now you see my gemstones are defaulting to a size of one mil there are 57 of them now watch what happens if I increase the gemstone size it's decreasing the number of gems there and it's maintaining this tight relationship with each of the stones if I increase this again this number should decrease which it has so as I increase my gemstone size now the tool seems to be adjusting automatically the uh, quantity of gems and it's following a rule which says you know don't uh, push one gemstone overlap them over each other so that's a nice change the other thing that you can do is adjust the, the spacing between each of the gems as well so you can see this box is set to zero so it's maintaining a very tight relationship between each gem as you saw when I increase the gemstone size it's decreasing the quantity and 
maintaining that spacing. I can override that obviously by clicking here to increase the gap space. It takes a moment to refresh but you can see it's now a 0.1 of a millimetre gap there. I'll do that again. Let's spread them again and it's adjusted this number. Let me just drop that back to zero. Look that's a great little change so we'll just close off with the tool now and obviously you would need to adjust the parameters here uh, for the ring band width and a few other things but uh, you know how to do that. Okay I hope that gives everyone a bit of a workaround for the moment. Okay thanks bye.